Hi everybody, this is Eugene on Auckland Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a timer to a PowerPoint 2010 presentation. Now there are many ways of creating timers in PowerPoint and I'm just going to show two simple ways. The first of these is a sliding bar and the second one is a countdown by numbers. Um, both of these animations are five seconds long. So let me run this animation here by just launching this uh, slide. And the first one is the sliding bar. I've got an outline rectangle box and when I click my mouse it fills from the left hand side and I'm doing this and the timer is taking five seconds. I could also count down by number. So when I click my mouse again I've got five, four, three, two, one counting down. So it's relatively straightforward to, to create these two types of timers, so let's see how we do that. I'm first of all going to create a slide bar timer, and this is relatively straightforward. To do this, I need a drawing tool. The drawing tool I need is a rectangle, so I'm going to select the rectangle drawing tool here and plot a large rectangle. I'm doing a very large one here so that you can see this on the video. Now I want an outline box first of all, so I'm going to right-click on this, choose Format Shape, and select no fill for the fill option and the line color I'm going to change it to black so that uh, it's much more easily seen on the video. Inside this then I'm going to insert a second rectangle select it from the drawing tools and put it inside in here like this and I'm deliberately not um, filling the box just yet for illustration purposes so I want to make this black so right click choose format shape for solid fill select black and for line color also select black. You of course can choose your own colors that you want here. So now what I'd like to be able to do is to get the inner box to appear from the left hand side and take five seconds to do so. So let's see how we go about doing that. First thing I need to do is select the animation ribbon across the top of the screen here and I'm going to bring in the animation pane uh, selected from the right hand side so that the animation pane is displayed over here. Now it's blank because I have no animations just yet. The only thing I'm looking to animate on this slide is the box here in the center. So what I'd like to be able to do is to uh, basically animate this and make it wipe in. So there's the wipe option here in the center, so select that. Now you can see that it wiped up from the bottom. I'd like it to wipe from the left. So go to the right here of the animation section and select effect options and choose animated from the left. So now when I choose the play button here in the animation pane, you can see that the box is wiping in from the left hand side like a slide bar. Final st stage here is to get this to take the length of time I want the animation to take. So when I uh, select the down arrow here, choose effect options and select timing from the window that pops up. Okay, uh, I'm going to start this on click and I'd like uh, the duration of this particular animation to take 5 seconds so I'm just going to change the default 0 0.5 and type in 5 and click OK. So now you can see it's a little bit slower. In fact it's taking 5 seconds to fill from the left hand side. I'm just going to move the box now so that it appears to be filling up the entire box here. So now when I click on the play button and play the animation, my uh, rec dark rectangular box is appearing from the left hand side and taking five minutes to do so. You can of course, if I select everything here, move this around the screen to wherever you want and also make it a lot smaller should you choose and maybe keep it down on the bottom hand side of the screen so that it doesn't take up too much space on your presentation and you can see that it will fill from the left no matter what size you choose here. So that's the slide bar timer option. Let's move on to creating a countdown timer option. And as you remember from before, this was simply a series of boxes uh, with the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 counting down. So I'm going to insert a text box here, so I'll select the text box option, draw that, and I'm going to start with the number 5. Now I want to make this a lot bigger so that's easy to see in the video, and I'm going to go right up to size 80. And I'm going to put it in the middle of the box. Next, I want to make my box a uh, solid color, so right click, choose format shape, uh, and uh, for fill, choose solid fill, and choose black, which is already selected there, and close. Now you can see I've lost my number, that's because it's in black as well, so I want to change the color of the text to white. So that appears there like that, so let me move this over here. 
So now all I want to do is copy that to create a similar box for number four, number three, number two, and number one. Okay, so copy. So I'm just doing shift insert to copy that. So control insert to copy that. Then shift insert to paste for number four, number three, number two, and number one. Of course, I have to change the numbers in this. So I'm just going to move my boxes over to the right hand side so as you can see them all. And I'm going to simply edit each one. This one for four, this one for three, two, and finally one. So I'm not going to put these on top of each other just yet. I want to create an animation for each of these. So one of the easiest ways to do this is to select all five boxes, choose the animation section, and in this case, I don't want any wiping. I just want them to appear. So and I select appear. So these are now all animated. So if I play the animation, they all appear instantly. And what I'd like them to do is to be delayed each one by a second. Over in the animation pane, you can see there are now five options, one for each box that's listed over here. So when I select the first one here and choose the down arrow beside it, I'm going to start the first one on a mouse click, uh, and I want it to be delayed by a second. So go to the timing option and delay it by one second and click OK. You can see it taking a second to plot. Go to the second uh, box. This one here, uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Go to timing. And at the moment, it's defaulted to display with the previous. And I now want to change this to after previous for a, a delay of one second and click OK. Something similar with the third one. Click the down arrow beside the animation in the animation pane. Go to uh, timing. Uh, again, select after previous with a delay of one second. I'm going to do this for this number two, timing after previous with a delay of one second and do the same thing then for the final box here um, do timing op effect options uh, choose timing um, select after previous and a delay of one second or you can choose two seconds or ten seconds whatever it is that you want to do now when I play the animation you can see each of the numbers appearing one second after the other and the final step here then is to make this look like it's a, an actual countdown by putting each box on top of one another. So to do that, I'm just going to move the five down to the center, plot the four on top of it and use Excel's uh, crosshair guidelines so that it fits on exactly on top. Take the box number three and put it exactly on top. Number two, exactly. And finally, number one, sitting on top. So that now when you, when you uh, have your countdown timer and the number one appears on the top, when I click the play button, it now appears as though it is a timer, a simple number change inside in the box, where in fact you are animating, in this case, five boxes over this. You can make some changes to these timers here, uh, should you choose. Um, you can change the color, you can use shading, you can use gradients, you can use 3D. Uh, if I play uh, these ones here, you can see the first one, it's filling up slowly from the left. I've chosen the green gradient fill here. Uh, or if you're counting down by number, you can choose uh, whatever color text box you like and uh, number of the boxes inside in that. Again, I'm using shadow and uh, 3D shapes and uh, so on here. So it's up to you to choose whatever style you would like for your timer. So that's how you add a timer to a PowerPoint 2010 presentation. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for your attention.